Hi guys, this is a um, video on Windows Freeware. Um, basically, um, I want to show you that you can um, have a completely fully functional PC with pretty much every piece of software that you ever wanted um, for free. Um, I mean, buying the PC and the operating system and things like that aren't enough. Um, I believe that um, all software should be free. Um, and I think as a result of software being free, it um, makes the programmers program the um, the software a lot more efficiently. So here I've got my um, program file props up here. And you can see that um, my all of my program files are taking up 1.37 gig of my hard drive. That's every single program that I've got on this um PC. Um that's not including two um emulators for um Sega Mega Drive and Nintendo uh, uh Super Nintendo, sorry. It's not including those but um uh, they're quite small as well. So probably one point three eight gig would be uh, a true figure for all of my software. Um so I'm going to take you through some programs now, uh, some freeware programs. I'm going to put all the um, links to download these up in the video description box. Um, so here we go. So the first one is 7-Zip. 7-Zip is a um, zipping, rarring, unzipping and unrarring um, program. Uh, a lot of files that you'll download on the internet uh, might be zipped up or might be rarred. Um, with 7-Zip it will unzip them and unrub them very efficiently and it's extremely small. Um, <coughs> personally I think it's the best um, zip and RAR program that there is. Uh, a lot of people say WinRAR but WinRAR you have to pay for. It's only got a 30 day trial. Um, there's also JZip and a few others but personally I think 7-Zip is the best. It runs very very smoothly. Okay, Foxit Reader is the next one. Foxit Reader is an alternative to Adobe Acrobat Reader. It um, is extremely quick, um, almost instant um, spark up time, and very, very useful for your PDFs. Okay, Prism is a video converter. It's what I use to convert my videos um, to Flash before putting them up on, on YouTube. Um, it's extremely quick, extremely good, it's never gone wrong, it's never frozen, um, it's very, very small too. Okay, next one is VLC. A lot of people um, argue over this one. Um, a lot of people prefer Media Player Classic, which is also really, really good. Um, I prefer VLC. I think um, it, it supports like hundreds of file extensions and also plays Flash, which is good for testing your YouTube videos or even if you're downloading YouTube videos. Okay, the next one is Any Audio Converter. Any Audio Converter is basically what it says on the tin. Um, it's extremely good. You can go from MP3 to WAV to whatever you like, basically, and it's very, very quick. Hypercam is what I'm using now. Uh, a lot of people have said to me, why don't you use Cam Studio? Uh, the reason I don't use Cam Studio is because I find that the um, conversion rates from AVI to Flash from Hypercam are much better than um, Cam Studio, so I put up with that little watermark in the top right hand corner, or left hand corner rather. Open Office. Open Office is a Microsoft Office alternative. It's completely free, um, or open source should I say. Um, it's a lot smaller and it does everything that Microsoft Office does. Why people buy Microsoft Office I really have no idea because this is, I think, a lot better. Um, this one is Virtual Dimension. Virtual Dimension is a virtual desktop and um, you can set up multiple desktops, switch between them um, if you've got different things running, uh, different different um, programs running, uh, such as you want to, you've got a, a, a Word document, say, and a Firefox document and you want to keep them separate, you can put them on separate desktops. Okay, Oslogix Disk to Frag. Um, the this is a um, alternative to the Windows Disk to Fragmenter, and 
I think that the Windows ver version of this that you get with the operating system is rubbish. It's too slow and it doesn't give you enough information. So Oslogix is the best one that I've found. Gives you loads of information. It's stupidly small and works a lot quicker. I reckon about 50 to 60 percent quicker than the Windows one that comes with the operating system. Infra Recorder. I was a CD Burner XP user for um, a long time, and then I found a little quirk with it. So I made the switch to Infra Recorder, which is you know kind of feels the same to use. Uh, I think it's re really, really good and completely free, which is the best thing. PC Tools Firewall. Uh, I don't use Windows Firewall or Windows Defender or anything like that. Uh, PC Tools Firewall. Um, I've always used it. It's very, very safe. I've no reason to, to switch from it, really. Um, this is called 3RVX. 3RVX gives you a Apple Mac um, style volume control. Uh, basically when you install it you can set up a hotkey uh, by default it's Windows key up to turn the volume up, Windows key down to turn the volume down and it comes up on a screen like that just like a Mac. I, I just think it looks cool. Um, Avira Anti-VIR is uh, I think the best anti free antivirus um, that you can download. Um, it's small, it's quick it's very very current current it's always installing updates a lot of people go for AVG but AVG has a lot of quirks with um, Vista uh, as far as updating and things like that so I use anti VIR Earth and View is a image viewer stroke editor stroke video player um, supports hundreds of file extensions again um, and spark up time is almost instantaneous speed fan um, speed fan is um, a monitor for your fans. It makes sure that if your fans are working efficiently and keeps your temperatures um, in a band, a certain band that you set, so it um, keeps everything running a lot quicker. Okay, C Cleaner is an alternative to uh, disk cleanup. Um, it has loads of loads more features than that. It's a lot quicker and a lot better iTunes, everybody uses iTunes I guess to um, manage their iPod, I think it's good, it's a little bit sluggish sometimes but uh, I think it's, it's a good program. Spotify, I've done a video on this before, uh, as I have CCleaner actually so you can check that one out. Um, the Spotify one um, will take you through the program in a lot more depth, basically it's an internet streaming music player um, and it's completely uh, free, you can listen to the music as many times as you want. Easy Message is um, a IM client. I don't like MSN because I don't, I don't use IM that much, and I don't need it to be all flash and um, and, and look really cool and stuff. Uh, so I use Easy Message. It's tiny um, and it takes up hardly any processes and resources. File Menu Tools um, is a really really good um, program. It puts more options on your right click. If I quickly show you this, if I right click here and go file menu tools, you see you've got a sub menu here um, and you get all these different things and this, this goes all the way down. So Loads of different things like create folder, like create new folder, uh, things like that where you have to go through you know folder, a uh, new folder and then rename it and stuff. Um, rather than going through three processes you just go through one. Spyware Doctor is um, I basically use it as a quick scan um, because the scan is very, very good on it and it's for spyware and adware to get rid of it. Feed Reader is an RSS reader. Um, it's got a really, really simple interface. Um, so when you ever subscribe to a page, um, it, Feed Reader will take that page and show it to you. And there's various options, but it's just very, very simple. I think it's the best thing if you don't open your browser. Um, this would be a good alternative to you know, keep up to date with the sites that you like. Um, I've got Stardock here. I only use Object Object Desktop, which um, basically gives you a Mac style dock at the bottom of your screen, which you can launch your um, programs from. And because I'm running out of time, last but not least is Firefox. Firefox is the best browser, in, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people say Opera. I've got no reason to change from Firefox. Personally, I think it's one of the best browsers that was ever made. Um, or is the best browser that was ever made and um, the add-ons and um, customizations and everything just make it worth it. 
Okay, I've got to go because I'm running out of time. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, this will be on the Megabyte TV forum as well. Thanks.